Welcome to AV Repairs. Today we're going to show you how to take the laser van unit out of a B&O Sentry. First off you need to remove the glass door. Very easy to do. Just gently pull towards you and just wiggle a little bit and off it comes. Place that in a nice safe place. Now I've put some bubble wrap down because you don't want to mark any of the front here. So this is a step by step guide on how to remove that. So gently, just very gently, lay that on its front like so. We're using the T10 screwdriver again, hexagon. We need to remove four screws. hold the speaker covers on. Okay, now we've done that, we basically bring the system up again, very gently. Let's put it on there. Now, we're going to remove the speaker's covers so we gently prise them apart and just pull very gently you haven't got to use any force they just clip out like so Okay, very very easy to do and we do exactly the same with this side, just pull them out very gently lay the stereo back down on its back now we're going to proceed we need to remove four screws again needs a T10 very easy to do Okay, now very gently, you just pull this up, remove what disc you've got in there, I should have done that before. And you actually just pull that out now, and if you can get in here, you see there's a little clip just in there that actually makes it open and close. Okay, this is the mechanism there, and all you do is just twist that out. You have to do it very gently, don't go pulling it about. It should just pop out. Like so, okay. It popped out, the top's come off, but I can put it back on. Now here's a, another part that you need to watch carefully. Okay, if you can just zoom in here for a second. You've got two arrows, okay, they're pointing in this direction. This is a little bit of plastic here. All you do, very gently, push them in. So then go for the top. Just gently lift that off. Okay, there's the arrows there that you can just see. And you just push them in, right, and that just comes off. Now if you zoom back in, we're actually looking at the, the VAM unit, what we call the VAM unit. So we're actually going to go ahead now. Again, they're T10 screws, securing all screws. With this, um, the screws don't actually come right out because you've got little black washer type plasticky holders that actually hold this to the metal plate. Hopefully they won't just fall off inside. Um, what you do now to remove this is you just gently pull it out. Okay. First, what we're going to actually do, 
we're just going to slide that back into there okay very gently like that and you just pull that down just gently pull it down you don't need to force it and that will just come up like that now if you can just zoom in your cables there just gently pull that out like that and again you have cables there and just pull that out and pull that out like that now the van's removed and oh screws just popped out this is the this is the item that we need from you um, your CDM unit on this one this is an old one this is a mark one mark two are, are a little bit different you can also tell by the main board this is a mark one um, basically that's it this is how you remove the van unit safely and securely I'm not using any static max because I don't need to um, I'm not playing with circuits I'm pretty grounded where I am so there's not a lot of stake in here um, so there you go thank you very much for watching and please see our website for a prices and information on lasers. Thank you.